stone in my shoe. So it's really hot here, really dry. I was out running earlier for about an hour. That kind of running where, you know, it's so hot, sweating, and the ground's so hard and dry, which is tough with barefoot shoes because you really feel the, the solid ground beneath you. And, um, and I am. Um, a little way in I found this, you know, the nagging pain of a, a stone in my shoe underneath my heel. And uh, so I, I started to think about the stone in my shoe. First impulse is, shall I take out that stone in my shoe? And then you start to think about that stone in your shoe underneath your heel and you think, mm, well, that stone in my shoe, I could grin and bear that test myself, test my mental and physical capacity to overcome that adversity because you know, overcoming adversity is, is one of the key skills in life and we don't get as much adversity as we should in the modern western world. It's an expression, religious types, you know, um, God giveth and God taketh away and I think there's there's more meaning to that than we give it credit for. In everything that you're given, something's taken, or in everything that's taken, something's given. That stone in my shoe is um, is a constant pain in my heel with every step, a, a, a mounting, niggling pain um, over and over for the next hour. Um, but at the same time, it's taking my mind off how hard this run is, how thirsty I am, how tired I am. I can always tune into that pain if I want to turn the noise down on the other stuff that's happening. So there's a gift there. It's taking something from me, but it's a gift. It's also giving me that ability to overcome the adversity of that pain, to, to put it aside and to keep going. And then, you know, that builds the resilience. It's the same thing when you, you know, Everyone's been there who likes tabbing, you go out into the hills or you're running through the hills, you've got 20 miles ahead of you and you've got a blister and the pain um, is, is, is grating at you but you've got 20 miles to go and there's no way back, there's no other way out. You've got to do that 20 miles, you've got to silence the noise of that blister because the pain of it's just going to get worse and worse over the next 20 miles. But every little thing that you go through like this, all of this adversity just builds a resilience, builds a familiarity with adversity. Um, so, adversity, stones in your shoes, these things are all, um, you know, they're complex. There's so often the opportunity to gain something from them, you know. I don't have much money, but... You know, so I learn how to survive on less. I learn how to cook um, on a budget. I, I stay slim because I don't eat too much food, you know, and I, 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 I start to understand the smaller things, the important things about life. I nurture my relationships. I nurture my health. Everything that life's taking from you, it's giving you something else, uh, an opportunity. And, um, you know, it's deep stuff here, um, uh, and people in the past and people in other parts of the world deal with real adversity, you know, I have to walk 10 miles to get some freaking water from the well, I have to, you know, run so far to school every morning, I, I, I don't know when my next meal's coming, these things are um, real adversities that we, we, we've been shut off to. Um, to a large extent in the West, and we have to take opportunities to build adversity and challenge back into our comfortable lives whenever we can in small ways, because you know, life can psh, life can just turn around suddenly, like all this um, corona fiasco, the lockdowns, you know. Um, I could be, a few years from now, I could be on the run from the AI track and trace police trying to microchip me carrying a kid on my back with a bullet wound in my arm and those 
lessons in adversity, ignoring the pain and moving on through life, being able to see through adversity, these things are going to be important to me then, you know. Um, and, at, and, and at the worst, they, they make you a better person, um, you know, at the least they make you a better person. What, for what it makes of you to achieve it, to uh, kind of paraphrase Jim Rowan. Overcoming things, challenges, makes you a different person. And every time you absorb some adversity, some little challenge, it makes you a little different. You know, the, the things you used to be insecure about, the things you used to to value as risks, value as, 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 as real challenges are, are changed. Like having kids, you know, you think that life is hard, then you have kids and you understand that everything in your life before was easy. Um, and you become a different person, different priorities, different um, mindset strategies for life, so that there is the rich um, lessons from um, a stone in your shoe and there are people out there who have taken this to another dimension like hat maker and his guys they'll put the shoe they'll put the stone in the shoe and they'll train with the stone in the shoe to train the mind for what it's like if you've got some kind of a, a debility a wound and you're having to um, fight you're having to you know put all of your training and overcome this challenge of the of the stone in the shoe which stops you getting the balance stops you being able to move without being conscious of that pain in your in your and the sole of your feet so um, yeah stone in your shoe piece of philosophy for you